I'm moving back to Mexico. Edit there's a lot of people calling me out saying oh you don't sound Mexican, this was definitely written by an American. These are the same people who are probably picturing me with a face full of dirt and a shovel in my hands. No, not everyone from Mexico has bad English, and I've worked really hard even before coming to this country on perfecting my English I'm also kind of a language nerd, lol. Languages have always been my strong suit. Did it help me get more job opportunities? Sure. Did it help me get paid as a professional? No. And that's fine. Edit. Yeah, I don't know why I thought this post would fit here, but in a way it's the most appropriate post for this sub. It's funny, five years ago, I dreamt of moving to the United States to pursue the American dream. I came to this country with nothing but $20 in my pocket. After five years of an uphill battle to try to make it, and after going through probably over a dozen soul-sucking jobs just to get burnt out and have my soul drained then consequently fired, just last week when I yet again lost my job I figured this is the last straw. I am not going back to look for another one. I'm not going to ask for money to be able to pay rent, something that has gone up and up dramatically year after year. I've just had it. I would either end my life or go back home. I had become blinded at what an absolute dumpster fire this country has turned into. All my friends in the US who immigrated from Latin America agree. This country has become much worse than the country I came from at this point. If you don't own land, property, or have a fancy rich boy college degree to your name, you're literally disposable trash that is enslaved to a job, paycheck to paycheck to preserve your existence. When my parents said they would welcome me back, I immediately felt a sense of relief that I hadn't felt in a lifetime. I felt like a prisoner being emancipated, a slave becoming a freeman. I no longer have to worry. I will live without constantly having to justify my existence to the man for the first time in well over five years. South Park was really ahead of its time when it pictured a world where Americans would start flocking to Mexico instead of the other way around. Five years ago, I would have dreaded the thought of being 30 and living with my parents. Today, I'm just happy to be alive and finally simply having time. That's all I've ever wanted. Just time. It feels like you never have time when you're constantly being chased by bills and debt. There is no American dream anymore. It's dead. If you don't already own assets, should the economy not turn around you're probably going to be toiling your entire life just to make rent for some rich asshole that decides whether or they give you the privilege to live in society. Goodbye America. I have a fancy rich boy college degree and am still disposable trash. I was born here and really feel the same way. I worked physical demanding jobs that just wrecked my back, and everyone just bitches about me not working more back-breaking jobs for next to no money. It's no longer possible to live in a big city without having a very well-paid job. Minimum wage doesn't cut it anymore and only allows a slave-like existence at best. You are lucky that you have the option of getting out and maybe if more do the same that could force a change in conditions. Like if enough people rally against the status quo and quit or move away, surely that could cause change like higher pay or lower rents. My family moved here from Canada when I was 10 years old, in the early 90s. We were the American dream and the only ones of our tree to make it to the promised land. We left everyone behind, some of whom became jealous, some were ambivalent. Uncle Bobby was prophetic, he said to me, and I'll never forget it. You'll be back. My parents want to retire back home now, who would have thunk it? Long live the Mexican dream. The American dream was always just a marketing campaign. Your story reminds me of that one South Park episode where the Mexicans realize, America ain't that great and they all go back to Mexico. USA Border Control then tries to stop them from returning to their own country because then all the domestic workers and cheap labor are gone. Should happen IRL, let's see what they do then. My tour guide pointed at some what I would call shacks in MX when we were visiting Chichen Itza and said you think they are poor, but they know freedom you will never ever be able to know. I think he was right. What you said resonates with many Americans who are born here. 
having a degree is somewhat worthless and most are living paycheck to paycheck as you. The only people I know who are actually doing well and have time as you say, are those whose parents are wealthy, set them up nicely with land, a home, had connections, or happened to marry well off. Same thing is happening in Germany. Africans save thousands to come here then move back because they can't make that money in Germany. The American dream has been dead for many people a long time, they call it the American nightmare. Glad to hear your parents welcome you with open arms, sounds like great parents light skin tone thumbs up sign. College degree guarantees you nothing but a mountain of debt in the current day USA. In moving to Mexico, too. My wife is from Mexico City, and has family in San Luis Potosi. We were able to buy a house in Mexico and will likely be able to keep our remote US jobs for a while at least. Everything makes financial sense for us to do it. I'm sick of buying $400 mo asthma inhalers in this goddamn country. They cost like $17 in Mexico and the rest of the money we save will basically pay for our mortgage. So to be clear even our immigrants hate working here. Well that's another nugget of depressing info to carry. You should read The Jungle by Upton Sinclair. The American dream has always been a lie to attract peasants from around the world to be wage slaves. I'm moving back to my home country too. It's called the American dream because you gotta be asleep to believe it. It's a big club and we aren't in it. Not just immigrants either, but most Americans who weren't born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Good luck to you. I moved from the UK five years ago, I feel the exact same way my friend, same experiences, and all I want is to go home, I sadly have one debt to pay off before I can leave, but when it's done and I have no more assets holding me here I'm gone. I hate this country, it was so full of hope and opportunity when I lived 4k miles away but then I got here and weaved into the way of life and it's terrible, I don't want to be scared I might get shot just for knocking on the wrong door or something crazy. Good luck getting home. OP, you have just experienced the matrix. The whole complete load of utter bullshit that cannot even be used as fertilizer that politicians and core expect people to believe. I'm honestly so happy for you, the fact you've been able to see this is a huge step for being able to move forward in a positive direction. However, I fully appreciate that the process is so painful it can seem easier to just end everything. For what it's worth, this random internet nobody is proud if you. Honestly if I had the ability I'd leave too. It's that bad. Congratulations and best wishes to you OP. My SO and I bring in 120k together and still aren't living comfortably. Yeah we have money but it gets tight. Our house isn't insane, one car paid off the other has a loan and it's just like wow. What's the magic number to even being comfortable here anymore? I've always said that the United States is the perfectly designed prison, it's a prison the prisoners don't know they are in. While I'm not arguing against the idea, this post is obviously fake. Looking at your comments, you're a piece of shit person. Referring to Chicago as Kai Congo on a video about gun violence, you use alpha beta terminology, you constantly degrade women, you refer to things as fucking gay and say homeless people are a fucking cancer. You failed because you're weak and tiny man, and I'm glad it happened. Fired from five jobs? You're the common denominator. Good riddance, we don't want you. We agree about the American dream. It's super sad and depressing. I'm sorry this happened to you. Two hearts. The American dream is something from the 50s and isn't achievable for the working class anymore. It's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. George Carlin I feel as if this person is definitely not a Mexican national, and if they are they're probably highly educated and wealthy, but I totally get the sense that this is American trying to gain fake internet points, also I doubt there is a single immigrant who would feel the same way leaving a near third world country. The American dream is just old-fashioned propaganda never more so than right now. 